if you are a male individual and you have pelvic floor dysfunction, chances are you're going to the gym and you are doing too much of the wrong exercise or you're doing too much of the right exercise, you're not stopping in a timely manner and you are focusing on one body part without paying attention to the rest. The other one is, believe it or not, over masturbation. So this is going to be a controversial video, but let me explain to you. This is not about religion. This is not about ethics or moral or anything like that. I'm going to bring to your attention the biomechanics of pelvis and how that is influenced by the factors that I mentioned to you. When you go to the gym and you're working on, I don't know, on your lats, and you're, let's say you are also working on a deadlift, and you have set the goal of, I'm gonna do three sets of 12, let's just say. And by the time you finish the first set and you start the second set, your muscles are already tired but you have set a goal of three sets of 12. So the rest of the time, you are going to use the wrong muscles to perform the same task because you're not looking at the quality of performance, you are looking at three sets of 12. So you create, without realizing, dysfunctional patterns of movement. When it comes to pelvic floor dysfunction, it's lack of stability of your pelvis that's translating into certain symptoms. Those symptoms can range from over clenching your butt to feeling heavy at the bottom of at the perineal area, can feel tightness in the testicles, it can turn into lack of mobility in the hips, lower back issues, sacroiliac issues, you can't stand for steady um, after, for longer than a few minutes maybe, you can't sit. All of those can be your symptoms with that very first thing that I mentioned as being the main contributing factor. The other one that I mentioned was over masturbation. I think COVID really played a huge role there. People were bored and at home, I guess they had nothing else but to do this. So why is there an issue with that? Because typically you're not going through the proper movement of the pelvis that is involved in sexual intercourse. So you are over clenching and pushing the pelvis instead of rocking it. This creates issues with the pelvic inlet, with what's attached to your pelvis from the outside. The combination of which creates biomechanical faults that contribute to some of the symptoms I already mentioned. So it's very easy to go and Typically, in male individuals, you know, it's like, uh, let's rule out STDs. Uh, you, you might have seen different providers without even realizing that, hey, my back pain has to do with this behavior or my hip mobility issues that's causing some of my issues has to do with the same problem. Chances are you haven't really looked into it until it started involving your penis. That's when you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? So you've seen urologists, they've done studies, you've had STD testing, nothing's shown up. Uh, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't know what is happening here. That's when I, you might have seen a pelvic floor therapist who has actually gone through the anus trying to access the muscles on the inside and they have already reported you that things are tight or weak or whatever the case may be most likely tightness. You get some relief, but maybe not that much, if at all. You may have been given a wand to go inside and address some of these, which may help you because after all, a wand can go a lot more than an index finger does. 
the reality of it is it's a biomechanical issue that is making your house become unstable and contributing to some of the penis related symptoms that you have unless you address the cause and fix what was created you are not going to necessarily see the results that you're looking for if you can relate to this and you have questions give me a call let's contact the office and we'll see if your issue has to do with pelvic stability in my practice i deal with pelvic floor dysfunction as a result of pelvis instability that means instability within the joints inside the pelvis and whatever is connected that pelvis is influenced by i hope this made sense make sure you contact the office make sure you subscribe to the channel and until next time take care